Hi guys, it's Daniel here again. In this video, I want to talk about the importance of positive thinking and how it can massively improve your life. So there's kind of two main reasons why positive thinking is really important. So the first main reason is the placebo effect. Now, if you haven't heard of the placebo effect, basically it is your mind's ability to heal your body. Now, this isn't some made up woo woo phenomenon. It's actually a proven scientific fact that if you take a group of people who are sick in some way and you give them a fake medicine, a medicine with no active ingredients in it, you can improve their condition. You can make them healthier because they think they're taking a real medicine and by thinking that, they can actually improve the health of their body. That's a proven scientific fact that the placebo effect works. And that's one of the main reasons why you need to improve your positive thinking, why you need to be more positive in your everyday life. Because if you're not doing it, you're actually making yourself less healthy. You're negatively impacting your health. That's one of the main reasons why you need to work on your positive thinking. And the other reason why you need to work on your positive thinking is because the opposite of the placebo effect is real as well. The opposite of the placebo effect is called the nocebo effect. And it's actually been proven in the same way that the placebo effect works that you can negatively affect your health by thinking in a negative way. So for example, if you take a group of people and you give them a fake medicine with no active ingredients in it, but you tell them that tablet will make them sick, that it will give them a headache. If you tell them that, then a lot of them will start feeling sick. A lot of them will start getting a headache. That's called the nocebo effect. And it's the opposite of the placebo effect. And the actual medicine would have no active ingredients in it at all. Nothing that could actually cause those symptoms. But by telling the people, you will get a headache, you will start feeling sick when you take this, they will actually start feeling those symptoms. And the opposite is, and the opposite is true with the placebo effect. If you take a group of people who are feeling sick in some way, who have some sort of ailment, if you give them a fake medicine and tell them it will help make them healthier, it will help improve their symptoms, even if there's no active ingredient in it at all, it will start to do that. Now, we don't fully know why this works. It's something to do with the mind's ability to heal and control the body's health in ways that we don't fully understand. But it is a proven scientific fact that these things happen that the placebo effect is real, that your positive thinking positively impacts your health, and that your negative thinking, the nocebo effect, will negatively impact your health. So that's the main first reason why you need to actively work on your positive thinking. Now, the second reason is your ability to find opportunities and take advantage of opportunities in the real world. So basically, opportunities are all around you. Opportunities to improve your business, to make more money, to meet people who will positively impact your life. There's opportunities for this all around you all the time. Now, the difference is a positive person will see those opportunities and they will take advantage of them. And a person who thinks negatively, they won't even see the opportunity. And if they do happen to see the opportunity, a person who thinks negatively, will just assume that they can't take advantage of the opportunity. They will assume that they're not lucky, that the opportunity is not for them. So they won't take the steps to take advantage of the opportunity. This is the second reason why focusing on your positive thoughts, by thinking positively, why that is so important for your life. Because these opportunities are all around you all the time. And this is why some people become highly successful and why some people don't achieve any success at all. It's because some people don't take advantage of the opportunities that are all around them. And some people take advantage of every single opportunity that comes their way. And the difference between those people is the people who take advantage of the opportunities, they are positive thinkers. They see the opportunities when they come around and they think that they can take advantage of them and they think that they are lucky people. And because they think those things, they do take advantage of the opportunity. They take the steps necessary to take advantage of the opportunity. And the opposite is true of negative thinkers. When negative thinkers see an opportunity, they just assume that it's not for them. They assume that they can't take advantage of it. 
they assume that they can't get any benefit from that opportunity, so they don't even try, they don't even take any steps to take advantage of the opportunity. And therefore they don't get any benefits from the opportunities that come their way. So that is a really huge reason why you need to actively work on your positive thinking. You need to actively become a positive thinker. Because if you don't, achieving success is almost impossible in every area of life. And not just in achieving success, success, but also in your physical health, you'll be sicker if you don't become a positive thinker. You'll be more prone to becoming sick. You'll be more prone to ailments that negatively affect your body if you don't become a positive thinker. So it's hugely impactful to your overall life. So there's only really one way to improve your positive thinking, and that's to put in the reps. It's to force your brain to adapt to positive thinking. It's basically to force your brain to become positive. So what most people do, so most people aren't successful, most people are negative thinkers. And what most people do every day is they think maybe a hundred or hundreds of negative things. They think them, they say them out loud, and they do it all day, every day. Just little negative things like, oh, my back hurts, or oh, maybe I can't achieve this. People say hundreds of these things every single day. That's what most people do, because most people are not successful. And to improve your positive thinking, to stop doing that, to start doing the opposite, you just need to put in the reps. So what I recommend is setting aside at least 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes at night to actively put in the reps of positive thinking, to actively strengthen that part of your brain, to make it stronger, to make it more natural, to make it a more default reaction to think positive. So how you do it is basically you just spend that time, for example, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night, and you just say a lot of positive things. And it doesn't matter if you believe them or not. At the beginning, you won't believe them. That's not the point. It doesn't matter at all if you don't believe them. You just need to put in the reps and strengthen that part of your brain. So even if they are things that are completely not true at all, for example, you might have a sore back. If you have a sore back, for example, start saying, my back feels great today. It feels like I'm brand new. It feels like I'm young and healthy. I could do anything today because my back feels great. So just start th saying things like that. And it doesn't matter if it's true or not. And in the beginning, your mind will be thinking, why are you saying these things? These things aren't true. But if you keep putting in the reps, if you keep doing this on a consistent basis, eventually your brain will start thinking, oh, maybe this is true. And then after a while, if you do it consistently, now it has to be consistent. For example, you might have to do this for at least a month before you really see results. But if you're consistent with it, then eventually your brain will start thinking, yes, this is true. I do feel great. My back does feel great. Because you'll start taking advantage of the placebo effect then. And I'm not sure really to what extent human illnesses and sicknesses and pains are due to the placebo effect or the nocebo effect. But it's, it's significant. It's a signi significant part of our health is controlled by our, by our mind in ways that we don't fully understand. But really, I think the biggest factor in our life is being able to take advantage of the opportunities that come our way that most people just overlook. Most people don't even see the opportunities that come their way. And if they do see them, they don't take advantage of them. That's the biggest factor between people who are successful and people who are not successful. And that's why only a very small number of people are highly successful, because it's only a very small number, number of people who are able to really become active positive thinkers. So again, what I recommend, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night, work on putting in the reps to saying positive things. Now you could just think the positive things, but I think it's more effective to say them out loud. And it's also more effective than writing them down because you can say things faster than you can write them down. So it's far more effective to say them out loud compared to writing them down. So just in 15 minutes, say as many positive things as you can. And it can be the smallest things. It can be, oh, it's a very nice day today. The weather is great. And it doesn't matter if the weather is great. And it could just be things around you that look beautiful. Like this is a really beautiful cushion right here. It could be very small, dumb things like that. It doesn't matter how small they are. It doesn't matter how weird the thing sounds when you're saying it. The point is to get the reps in. So you're trying to get as many reps in as you can in that 15 minute period. 
So try and say at least 100 positive things in 15 minutes. Just start hammering them out. And again, it doesn't matter how small they are, how insignificant, it doesn't matter how much you don't believe the positive things, just put in the reps. And you do that again at night as well. Do another 15 minutes at night. And I recommend doing this for at least a month before you really start seeing huge impacts to your life. Because you need to build that muscle. You need to strengthen the part of your brain that automatically comes up with the positive thoughts. And in the beginning, that part of your brain will be small and weak. Your ability to come up with positive thoughts will be very difficult. It will be a very small part of your brain. But by putting in the reps morning and night, you will strengthen that part of your brain. Your brain. You will grow that part of your mind and it will become stronger. And as it becomes stronger, the part of your brain that used to come up with the negative thoughts, that will start to shrink and become weaker. So that's what I recommend. It's highly important that you focus on positive thinking, follow these positive thinking tips, and improve your life massively. If you like this content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts. Cheers, guys.